So today I'm going to talk about uh, communication between uh, components in Angular. So in short, if you have a component that raises an event and you want another component to catch that event, uh, you will need to, to, to do that somehow. And we're specifically going to talk about how parent can talk to a child component. So as you can see, I'm setting up an Angular project here from my GitHub, just so I, that I have a starting point here to show you what I'm, uh, I want to show you. So, so the thing is, here is the obvious. We know how to pass an input to a child from a parent using input, and we know how to raise an event using output um, to the child uh, that the parents listen to. So this is exactly what I have done in this small component here. So this is just a counter, just to show you the basics of, uh, uh, and, and to show you how view child works. So in this counter component, uh, what I have here is uh, I, I have a page which holds this counter component and um, uh, the only thing this does is actually, well, just uh, increases by one. Not very clever, but anyways, uh, we need to install this and uh, we need to run this uh, application. So I'm using the light server provided by the Angular team for Angular 2. And uh, actually, just to just a second to wait it run. Yeah, so you increase by one, two, three, and uh, the component works, right? And it, sh it should do that. So what about now? I want to know how can I, from the outside, uh, from a parent, call this child and then clear this count? And this is an issue because uh, we can't reach it. Right? Even though it is declared in our HTML, uh, we can't read, reach it from our code, right? So this is where the view child comes into play. So you just uh, hook up the view child here, reference your component, add a button, and then just to prove my point here, clear that counter. And you can see that works. And that's how easy that is. So now, if you're not familiar with doing like debugging and Visual Studio Code, I'll, I'll just show you here. You need to that, have that extension for Chrome debugging. You will find that under extensions. Just click on that and debug, put some breakpoints on there and click play. And just a second, it will, work. So now the application will load and it will hopefully <laughs> hit the breakpoint here. Yeah. So here I'm clearing the component from the, the parent to the, the child, by the way. Uh, uh, and this is how you debug in, in Visual Studio Code. I just wanted to show you that. And by the way, to also show you that if you increase now, clear, it actually works uh, this application. So thank you for watching and uh, this is where you can reach me.